We believe there's a giant conspiracy. Let's go to Susan in St. Petersburg. Hi, Susan. You're on MNF. Hello there. Hi, Susan. Yes, I'm glad I got into that guy was a comedian. Oh, uh, kind of uh, well, all he had was name calling, and I, I kept I tried to give him a chance to say, okay, well, give us a fact. I know it was funny. Yeah, but this is my thought on the bill, you know, about the peaceful protest. I think this is just a retaliation of war, of the insurgents that we had. And it sounds, I'm wondering if any other states have uh, thought of doing this also. Just ours? Or does it mean? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I, I, I'm pretty sure uh, there are uh, similar measures being proposed in other states, but I don't have the states. details in front yeah. of me. I'm not going to speak, yeah. uh, if, unless I have the facts, I'm not going to say. Exactly. It's just the thought, you know. But uh, it just looks like, uh, it's kind of like a, a conspiracy theory of uh, certain states that might introduce it. And that's all I have to say. And it's a really good show. And uh, we've got a lot to, uh, you know, to hopefully uh, get control of. All right, Susan, thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you, you very much. All right, great, Bye-bye. great to hear from you. All right, I'm glad you were able to get through. 813-239-9663. Let's go to Michael in Clearwater. Hi, Michael, you're on WMNF. Uh, hi, yes, the uh, caller has said that the, the, uh, the uh, a situation uh, was a counter uh, to the insurrection. And it was a conspiracy theory that the states uh, got together and decided uh, to, to crack down on, on protesters to uh, to counter the, the insurrection. I guess they, uh, she was referring to the states were upset that uh, the feds had uh, cracked down on the, the insurrection with the, the hundreds of people had stolen all the secret government information, sold it to the Russians they told us. Yeah, Michael, I, Michael, you kind of lost me, so I, I'm going to move on. But Michael, thanks a lot. Thanks for the call. Eight one three two three nine nine six six three. Let's go to Wade in Clearwater. Hi, Wade. You're on MNF. Yes. Uh, I appreciate your show. I'm an ex police officer of Clearwater, 1965. I was the first black police officer to graduate from the academy, and from that point until then, to now, uh, I also got drafted in 1969. All the people that have a problem with uh, the, the, the racist things that we are experiencing in this country, I think everybody needs to go have gone and serve some branch of the military so they can have a definite, a definitive right to protect anyone in this country. I served my country for all I, you know, took the oath to protect this country with my life, and I still would do that, but not for idiots that have a problem with me, never, you know, just because of my skin color, uh, uh, of my ethnicity, or whatever. I just feel that these kind of people need to be put in jail, and, you know, black or white, when you go against the principles of what this country was founded for, and I think more people need to realize that. And, and wait, who's going against the principles of what the country was founded for? Who are you talking about? Who's going against the principles of what the uh, country was founded for? I guess the people that marched on on the Capitol, for instance, and people that uh, want to insist that minorities and Black Lives Matter and whatever else, you know, don't matter. You know, we just shut shut up and and let you know idiots do anything they they feel. Uh, they they have a right to do which they have no right to do that yeah so wait so wait a, a few dozen of those folks uh, who uh stormed the capitol have been arrested um thousands of blm protesters who were arrested last summer uh, around the country um wh- what do you uh, do you think that you think that the government is being too lenient on on the uh, people that stormed no. the capitol no i think the government is reflective of the impartiality that basically we need to get rid of. Everybody needs to, to serve something to have a right to protest anything for a dumb time. You know, if you don't step up to the plate and make sure that this country stays intact with the principles that were a given uh, to make this country a, a, a democracy in the first place, you have no right to, you know, no, in 
in my opinion, no voice to uh, to say anything derogatory about anybody because this land was taken from not uh, Americans at that time. It was taken from the indig- indigenous American Indians. And they, uh, uh, you know, more than anybody should have the final say if we go back to principles of that democracy. Would, that would be interesting. Wade, thanks a lot. Thank you for that. I'll have to look up your history, too. Thank you for telling us about it. Um, Kay writes this, uh, people are not laughing at this show. It's highly regarded as being truth to the present day, and the fact uh, the show can be fact-checked, writes uh, Kay. Kay, thank you for that support. Uh, let's go to Raphael in Tampa. Raphael, you're on MNF. What would you like to say? The principle of the United States was guy. This is a guy who, who is using a different voice and calls back all the time. Um, we're not going to put him on the air twice. We, we had one call from him using a different name, Michael from Clearwater. Uh, thank you uh, very much. Uh, his name is Levi. He lives in Polk County, but he puts on a different name and uh, tries to get on the air a lot. Uh, Lori writes, uh, I got my stimulus money directly deposited in my account the day after the bill was signed. Lori doesn't say where she is, but uh, she says, yes, I did get my stimulus money. Uh, Alan in Mulberry says he got his stimulus money. Mama T in Sarasota says the stimulus money was pending on money Monday and deposited on Wednesday. So-